And at Pratt Larson, we were lucky enough to get one of the first prototypes of the Glaze Tech kiln. Uh, it's worked out great for us because it's really important that we have ongoing testing. Uh, we do custom color matching all the time here, and we have crystal growth issues, materials issues, things like that that make it so that testing on a regular basis in an accurate kiln is really important. And this has worked great for us. On the Glaze Tech kiln, it has a controller that gives us total control of what's going to happen in the kiln. It's got eight segments. We mostly use three or four segments, but we can replicate, replicate what's happening in our larger kilns uh, by doing a data log and recording what goes on in the big kiln and reproducing it exactly in here. We put the data logger on uh, the Glaze Tech kiln and the controller is running it spot on and we've got the graph uh, to show that that's working so well. So the Glaze Tech is just right for us uh, for its size and shape. The height is really handy and the size makes it so that we can just park it. It's on this rolling stand. We could park it anywhere we need to. Space is critical in a studio like ours. We have so much going on. I need to be out of people's way and the little lab kiln is just right. Uh, last night I fired, I needed to see one result. It was on a two by four and this specific glaze and this specific program, I didn't want to dedicate an entire large kiln to having a look at what this glaze would look like on this tile. So I was able to use this kiln. It worked out perfectly. I put in a few other tests. We can put in three approximately one foot shelves in there stacked up and get a lot of volume, get a lot of tests done. Uh, we can, if necessary, uh, fire two 6x12s side by side. Very handy for that. And once again, not using up an entire large kiln. Uh, last night's firing bent this cone four just right for us. And this crystal glaze here, um, that's a zinc crystal, a lot of iron in the glaze, really lovely when everything works just right. When we fired this project, everything came out very well, except the, this particular glaze came out shiny. It's shiny and it doesn't have the crystal growth that we like to see on the surface of the tile. Uh, the absence of those crystals uh, changed the color. It's creamier and yellower and less red brown. So working with refiring some of this material or starting over and trying different temperatures in kilns and different cooling rates, we discovered that this glaze, like some of our glazes and some that you work with probably, can be extremely variable. The, just the slightest difference in temperature, different speed of the cooling uh, can affect the glaze so much. Once again, this is all the same glaze. After uh, trying some chemical changes, uh, adjusting the glaze with different amounts of zinc and titanium and things, uh, we discovered that we can use the original formula and get back to where we wanted to be. Uh, it took a little testing, but uh, using the Glaze Tech kiln, uh, I discovered that the right program for this glaze, at least this batch of this glaze, was a cooling rate from the top end at 150 degrees an hour down to 1650 degrees for the half hour soak after that. So this glaze, uh, the same bucket of glaze can be made to come out like this with the correct cooling rate. Uh, we completed the job, it got netted up and installed, uh, the architect, the client, the designer, all delighted and we really appreciate the use of having this much control and a kiln small enough to test small amounts without dedicating a big load uh, to solve this particular problem. Working with Scott Kilns has been just great. Uh, Pratt Larson has been around for 30 years and they've been working with Scott Kilns from the start. It's not just that they're local, they have great customer service, they have a great tech department, we call with questions, they help us with problems. We do our maintenance here, so we get parts. The parts are easily available, easily installed, 
everything works just great that way. So it's been a good relationship and a long one with Scott Kilns.